So today we're going to go up into the forest to look for some spring mushrooms. Um, I've been reading a lot about other mushrooms aside from morels. They um, are the normal mushroom that we usually find because um, I can't really identify other ones when we're out there. I don't have my mushroom book. I mean my mom's mushroom book. <laughs> um, but I've been watching videos on YouTube um, to see other types of mushrooms like spring kings um, and stuff like that and Sean chanterelles I want to find some of those so we're gonna see if we can find some today um, the kids are out with grandma and papa they're staying at their house today or uh, for a few days because mama needed a break um, so I'm making some coffee to take with us and it's just gonna be me um, daddy and baby Tazzy so we're gonna go enjoy our day in the mountains without the older kids and it's gonna be fun I think we're out, like, we're all looking for mushrooms right now, and honestly, I think we're too early, because there's still snow. I think it's too cold still. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I see some bugs out and everything, so I'm not sure. Um... But there's still snow. I don't see anything right away. So we got this nice old burnt stuff. Mushrooms love to grow in that. Um, Okay, that's gross. <laughs> so there's 
That's really gross. I don't know if I should show it. There's some kind of poop. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting. There's actually a lot. I don't know what that is. Gross. <sighs> Regardless of whether we find anything or not, it's so nice to be out here, just just to be out in the the quiet forest. I mean, it smells good and it's beautiful and it's just it's one of my favorite places to be. <sighs> Don't tell my kids or my husband, but I kinda like to be here alone. <laughs> I love them and I love being with them. And it's actually a lot of fun to bring them out here. Um, but to just stand here and enjoy the quiet. You can hear some birds and it's just so nice. <laughs> I love it. But. any mushrooms other than that one on the tree that's mainly what I'm out here for I'm learning more and more about wild edibles and and so I'm just really anxious to get out here and actually get my hands on them and and learn So beautiful up here, I love it. It's the best thing ever. There are just so many pretty young spring flowers popping up. Look how beautiful those are. So one thing that I was trying to research before we came out here and did this was what what temperature do morels come up in and what elevation. I couldn't find really anything on that. We're in eastern Oregon um, and I'm sure it's different all over an airplane. Um, but let me know where you are, like what your, when your morels pop up or any spring mushrooms really. Um, cause I couldn't really find that in my research. I even looked at my morel book and I couldn't find it. I'm not really sure. It's cold. Oh, wet too. Oops, I dropped my
Okay, so we are doing a spore print to see what kind of mushroom this is because it wasn't a turkey tail. We looked it up and um, it was definitely not a turkey tail. So we put it half on white, half on black to see what color spore print it made. And looks like it puts off white spores. That is so cool, look at that. So that will help us identify what exactly it is because it has gills and turkey tails are like a sponge with little porous holes on the bottom. So this is definitely not a turkey tail.